Hey guys, how you doing? Um, in this episode, I will be linking this uh, amazing and very deep, that's what she said, ravine that I found in the last episode back to the main tree houses, and I hope I can find my way there. Um, I think I'm going to mark all of them with like torches or something, I don't know. Maybe with cobblestone, just like that. Yeah. To, uh, tell people where it is. Mark it with signs. But it's gonna be pretty hard to follow even with these signs. So I think I will be putting some torches on some of them and taking down these annoying vines. Well, this is why I chose this biome, right? For the vines. No other biome has this, except for the swampy biome. But this is still kind of swampy, uh, swampy jungly-ish. You know, should patch that up. At the same time, marking it with cobblestone. A telltale sign of human civilization. I sound like a dumbass. Last time I saw it with far view, it lagged a lot, but I saw it, the building was over there. And that's where we're headed. Towards the building. I'm pretty desperate to link this place up. Because that would be just awesome. I have no idea how to get get down from here. Should I use uh, leaves to link it or something? But I know that doing this is probably gonna be pretty boring so I thought of a topic to talk about while I link the two places back together and that topic is automatic hand soap dispensers. Think about it for a moment. How dumb does that sound? Initially it sounds like, oh okay, breakthrough in technology, now it's, now they're automatic. But once you think about it, and I mean really think about it, okay? Just think about it. Automatic hand soap dispenser. Why? Okay, I saw it in a, in, in a commercial, right? And the the advertising guy was like, so uh, now you don't have to touch these germ-filled buttons on the hand soap bottle and it's cleaner, but the thing he doesn't realize is there's soap in that dispenser. It's called an automatic hand soap dispenser, right? So. Okay, this is what would happen um, if the dispenser is not automatic. You press the button for the soap to come out, and now there's bacteria on your hand because there's bacteria on the button. Fair enough. I understand that. However, you press the button for the soap to come out, and once the soap comes out, you clean your hands, you wash your hands. That's what a dispenser is for. So why does it have to be automatic? You're gonna clean your hands anyways. You're just wasting time on like an extra ten dollars right there. I know it's not much, but why would you waste your money on something that useless? I don't get it. That's just plain stupid and useless and idiotic. And it was it was a white person commercial. You do not see this stuff. Like, China will not air this stuff in their commercials. They'll st they'll just see that commercial and they'll be like, what kind of retard, what the f who would buy this? I'm not being racist here, I'm just pointing it out there, you know. This was a commercial I saw in Canada. And by the way, yes, I do live in Canada. And look at that. 
It looks like a treehouse. We are back, guys. We have linked it. Success. High five. Virtual high five. Uh, there we go. That's kind of stupid. Sorry for doing that. Um, yeah, but you get my point, right? It's so excruciatingly dumb. Like, you press the bacteria-filled button on the soap dispenser, but you're going to clean your hands. You're going to wash them. It's not like you're just not going to wash that hand that just touched the button. You are going to wash it. And if you are going to wash it, then what's the point of having it being automatic? And here's another fault with the automatic dispenser. It might give too much soap and waste. It's, it's wasteful. How does the automatic dispenser know how much amount you want? It doesn't, which means you're going to waste soap. Yeah, so don't waste soap and don't waste your money. Do not buy those stupid dispensers that are stupid. And I think this turned into more of a rant than anything else. I am so sorry. But uh, I'm, I'm glad because now we know a way to the ravine. And I got all of that shit out of my system. But you will not catch me dead with a... I will not be caught dead. Owning one of these automatic Hanso dispensers. It's not a big deal, but... Oh, yes it is. It's a big deal. It's a big, big deal. Okay, guys. Uh, I think you get my point. And... I still haven't given my diamond back to Steven yet. He has not found out. But if he does, he's going to be pissed. He's going to be like, You stole my diamond, you motherfucker. And then I'm going to end up like that cow. He's going to shoot me right in the head. GG. I'm going to spend the night in his house. In his little shroom house. Getting high just by living in your own house. That is a deal. That is a big deal. You know what? I feel like I owe him, so I'm gonna give him a raw beef. Give him some sap saplings. Give him some. Okay, I guess I'm just giving him shit that I don't want. <laughs> Sorry, Steven. I'll give him one seed. He'll be like, Where did that come from? I can spend that. Well, peace, guys. I will see you in the next episode.